Okay. Uh, if you are watching this video, that means you should have started writing or started to think about your introductory paragraph. So let's start with some common misconceptions. You don't need to say, I think that, I believe that, in my paper, I will write. Just tell me what you're going to write. You don't need to say, I will do this. I will write about this. Just write it. Your thesis placement. Your thesis should go at the very last sentence of your introductory paragraph. It should give me specifically what your stance is in your argument. Are you agreeing? Are you disagreeing? What is your stance? Indent your paragraphs and do not, do not, do not use first or second person, okay? Meaning no I, me, we, you, us. Now, thesis statements. This is important. You need to have an argument that has specific details that back up your perspective. So any good argument, your perspective must be one that is deba debatable. So here's my example. Shakespeare's Hamlet is a play about a young man who seeks revenge. Okay, that is a fact. Great, I know that, right? Okay, whatever. Here's a better one. Hamlet experiences internal conflict because he is in love, and I can't, because he is in love with his mother. There we go. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. What am I doing? Okay. Moving on. Um, MLA formatting. Now, I didn't put too much here because... I don't want to get too specific, but I wanted to put uh, the basics of your header. It should be your name, my name, the class, and the date. And it's going to look like this. Maybe it's 2021. It's crazy. Okay. Um, never include a quote by itself. Another common misconception is that you can't have a quote in your introductory paragraph. You can. Um, it's not very common. Unless it's absolutely necessary that you need that quote there, um, don't include it. But your introductory paragraph needs to include uh, major points. Now, if I'm starting my introductory paragraph, I'm going to have my title here. So we'll say title and you can just leave it as title for now so we'll put it there and then I would say indent in Shakespeare's King Lear and leave it like that okay there's not much to it you can just leave it like that um, and defend your argument put your thesis at the bottom um, other than that, there's not much to an introductory paragraph. We'll talk more about the body paragraphs as we move forward. Um, and your conclusion, uh, I will move forward and talk about later on.